Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today, this is the first of my ser um, of the series on my channel. I've been working on a Gorilla Tag fan game and realized, hey, I should probably make a model. And I made one and rigged it, but decided I had screwed something up. If we drag in the model here, as you can see, um, not only do the hands have a see-through texture, which looks really weird while you're playing the game, the entire thing is one object, so I wanted to add a face to this texture here, and it wouldn't let me because the entire thing is one object because I decided to join it in Blender. So today I'm going to be teaching you how to do that, but without screwing up like I did. As you can see, this is a recreation of that same model with the armature that we're going to be ending up with after the end of this tutorial. This armature is fully IK tracked, so for example, the bone that we're going to be moving is this one, and it's fully IK tracked, so whenever your game is finished and if it gets popular, uh, people, if they wanted to, just like Gorilla Tag, if they wanted to animate, they could take your model and they could animate it with this IK model, which makes it exceptionally more easier because it just looks cool. You know what I mean? So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to add, you're going to go to here. You're going to add add armature single bone. Then go down to here in this setting, and you're going to want to click in front. So then you're going to want to go to edit mode. You want to make a neck bone using E to extrude, and then you're going to want to make head bone, shoulder bone, upper arm, lower arm, hand. Now don't make it on this side. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use, we're gonna kind of symmetrize it over once we're done with this model. So after you've done that, you're gonna wanna go over here. You're gonna wanna go into edit mode again if you're not still in edit mode. Go to Y, grab this little circle on this bone. Go to Y axis, click E and extrude it behind the model. Now select this, go to Y and extrude it this way. Now, we're gonna go to here, we're gonna uncheck deform for the both of these. You're gonna click Alt P, you're gonna clear the parent for the both of them. And so now they're one object. You're gonna wanna go to Y again, you're gonna wanna move it forward and to where it's like just barely touching your character's belly. If you need me to make a tutorial on how to model, I will help happily do that. Just let me know down below in the comment, and I'll make a tutorial on how to model. So now that you have that, you're going to want to go to this arm. Oh wait, I, I forgot a step. Oh wait, I didn't. Okay. You're going to want to go to this arm, go into pose mode, and you're going to want to go down here to this little icon, and then click on add mode, straight, inverse kinematics. Um, I forgot. I actually did forget it one step. You're going to want to use F2 and you're going to want to rename all these bones. So we're going to do root, neck, head, shoulder, upper arm, um, lower arm, hand. And now this next one is really important. You're going to want to name the hand bone here. The one that's next to the hand bone, you're gonna name it IK Target. I actually named it IK Target there, but it doesn't really matter. You just need to know which one is your IK Target and name the other one IK Pole. Now go to here on Inverse Kinematics, Target, Armature, Bone, uh, I think it was IK Target, okay? Go to Armature, Bone, IK Pole. Now it's gonna look a little weird, like your character's kinda angling off in this direction. Just go to Chain Links and change it to 2. And now it goes back to normal. Now you're gonna to wanna to go to here to no no not copy location. Don't oh, follow that so. Copy rotation. Now you're gonna to go to target armature bone IK target. Now you may notice that it kind of flips into the little IK mode. You're gonna to wanna to do X, you're gonna to wanna to invert X and Y, local space, local space. Congratulations. Now, double check that I did this step. Yep. Now your model should be ready, I'm going to check something, yep, and it works, you now have IK. So now that you've done that, you're going to go into, I believe, edit mode, you're going to go here, you're going to select all of these bones, all of them, including the IK target and IK pole, okay? And once you've selected all of those, you're going to go to armature, names, auto name left right. Armature, symmetrize. Now you'll notice that it's kind of, um, it's kind of made the same thing for each thing. 
so that you're going to want to take the blue node and kind of rotate it 180. Now it's going to look a little buggy, but that's okay. You're going to want to go to movement. You're going to put it all the way over here and kind of symmetrize it up with your model so that it won't be weird whenever we put it with our model. Now you're just going to want to fix up the bones a little bit. This should be pretty easy to do. Uh, <clears throat> so let me see. Alright, so once you've centralized up all of those bones, you're going to go to object mode. You're going to select the bone, and then up here, you're going to click on this last one, hold down shift, and do click. Now you're going to want to right click, go to parent with automatic weights. Now you're going to want to select your armature, go into pose mode, and grab your bones and see if your armature is working. Mine is, as you can see, so he can wave. Let's just the other one. He can still wave, it's still a little buggy. I don't know what's going on with that. Um, I haven't seemed to have found a fix yet, so, but uh, I promise you it works really well in game. Um, I've tried it, it works really well in game. So, yeah. Have a good day, everyone. I hope this tutorial helped you, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.